what we gardena in yardagum theot kuninga thrum yefrunon huza athelingas ellen frimidon did you like that did it sound good well this is the sound of old english Hello everyone, I am Elise and this is a softly spoken ASMR video. Tonight I thought it would be nice to talk about the sound of Old English. Old English is the oldest form of English and it was spoken up to 1100 AD. This period covers the coming of Germanic invaders, the fall of the Roman Empire, and the Norman conquest in 1066. It is of course very different to present-day English, so it is impossible to understand it without studying it. You would think it looks and sounds a bit like German or Swedish. Tonight I am not going to talk about its grammatical or syntactic features. I am simply going to speak about it sounds. How did Old English sound like? How to read Old English? Well, Old English was first written with the runic alphabet. Runes were probably used up to the 10th century and we find runic inscriptions, mostly on stone, jewelry, or weapons. However, they started being replaced by the Latin alphabet from the 7th century. So, let's take a closer look to the Old English alphabet. B, C, D, F, E, F, Y, H, I, L, M, N, O. As you can see, there are some differences with the alphabets we use now. For example, the letter ash. The letter ash is actually a grapheme which was used by scribes to write the diphthong AE. And after a while, it just became a letter. Now, what about thorn and win? Except the fact that they have pretty cool names, they were actually runes which were kept because their sound was not represented in the Latin alphabet. Finally, the letter F 
which comes from Irish writing, was interchangeable with the letter thorn because they represented the same sound. So, how were these letters most likely pronounced? Let's start with the consonants. In Old English, there are no silent consonants. This means you have to pronounce every consonant written. Luckily for us, the letters B, T, L, M, N, P, R, T, and W have the same sound as in present-day English. On the other hand, remaining consonants, which are C, F, G, H, S, Thorn, and F are a little bit different. So we're going to start with fricatives. In Old English, fricatives are either voiced or unvoiced. For example, Listen to the sounds Z. Z. You can hear the sound of my voice, right? Well, that's because they are voiced fricatives Now listen to the sounds You cannot hear the sound of my voice And that is because these So as you may have noticed, the letters V and Z do not exist in Old English. The sounds V and F were both represented with the letter F. And the sounds Z and S were both represented with the letter so, how do we know how to pronounce them? Well, simply, when the word starts or finishes with the letter S, it is pronounced S. And when the word starts or finishes with the letter F, it is pronounced In between voiced sounds, S becomes Z and F becomes V. Now, let's move on to the fricatives F and Thorn. As I said, these are interchangeable, but they follow the same they are unvoiced at the beginning and at the end of a word and they are voiced in between voiced vowels Alright, what's next? The letter H Old English H is pronounced at the beginning of a word but Elsewhere, it is pronounced like German Ich. Now, let's move on to C and G. Old English C and G have so many pronunciations, it's actually a little bit tricky. And it's all because of a phenomenon called palatalization. I will try to make it as easy as possible. C is normally pronounced as in the word cake. However, 
some linguists believe that before an E or an E or U it was pronounced CH as in the word church what is for sure is that dotted C was pronounced CH as in church now we move on to the letter G G was normally pronounced G as in the word good but it can change under certain circumstances it can be pronounced I when it's dotted and it can be pronounced H between voiced sounds just like in the German Wachen see it is fairly complicated so let's just say that C and G have different pronunciations finally let's move on to the diagraph two letters diagraph S C when it is followed or preceded by a front vowel so ash e i y it is pronounced sh as in ship but when it is followed or preceded by a back vowel it is pronounced sk as in ask in now double consonants we cannot forget them are different from singular consonant the sound should be held much longer now that we're done with consonants let's move on to the sound of Old English vowels Old English had pure vowels which are A Ash E I O U and Y and it is important to distinguish long vowels and short vowels long A for example was pronounced R as in father short A on the other hand was pronounced R as in God E was pronounced like a European E like in the word end so long E would be E and short E would be E long I was pronounced E as in the word feet and short I was pronounced E as in the word bit O whether it was long or short was always pronounced O long U was pronounced U as in the word moon and short U O as in the word but the old English Y does not exist in present day English because it used to be pronounced U like in the French word tu and the sound U doesn't exist in English anymore now let's consider the diagraphs I E was pronounced E as in the short I of sit and the letter ash was pronounced R 
Now, let's try to read some old English words. Stun, stain, brother, brother, cooning, king, daughter, daughter, feather. Feather, earth, earth, queen, queen, heaven, heaven, goose, goose. Sorha Sorrow Yard Year Nicht Night Wife Wife Sunne Sun Moose Mouse Whose House It sounds nice, don't you think? Now I'm going to try and read the opening lines of the poem Beowulf Of course, I'm not going to read it all because it has more than 3,000 lines Scholars believe that this poem was written between the 8th and the 11th century So, I'm going to try and find a translation so that you can read it at the same time so, here we go. What we gardena in yardagum theot kuninga thrum ye frunon huza athelingas ellen fremidon oft schuld shaving Shathena threatum Monegum maxum Meodoselta of there Exode eoras Suthan aris worth Fashaft funden Hedas frobre ye bad Weox under rock num Wears mundum tha O that him Agush thara Um sitendra Over hron rade Huran sholde Gomban yultan That was God Kuning Alright That's it for tonight um, I hope that you enjoyed it and that old English sounds put you to sleep. See you soon. <laughs>